All right, Dad, sing us our new song. <laughs> our theme song? Yeah. We are taters. Dad's a Fia booger, Mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we are taters. Dad's a Fia booger, Mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hey, my little baloney. Are you ready to fly? Yeah, the good window seat. We're about to do this. It's time to take off. You ready? Say, so let's go. Daddy, here we come. <laughs> I love you. deserted we had to go to the bathroom after we got off the flight and there's like no one in the airport it's creepy look at this baby okay three we made it y'all seriously she did so good i am so freaking proud of her she is the uh, like the master of traveling it's like a travel baby right here she's ready i love it she did so good now let's go get daddy Woo! Like, see, look, there's like nobody here and all the lights are out. Like, it's creepy. They are sending us all over the world to get our bags. Still, I haven't seen but like one other person. It's so creepy. <laughs> Welcome. Ooh, there's a lobster already. Finally, I didn't think we were ever gonna find you. Yay! They had me. I mean, I think I, I landed four miles from here. Hey, baby. Oh, too. Oh, this little one. We didn't know we were going to be trekking three miles outside in the winter to get here. Because her coat's underneath that blanket. Yay! We made it! Yay! Are you so happy to see Daddy? Give Daddy a big kiss. She's wearing your favorite outfit. Oh, look how happy she is to see you. All this traveling. She was so good too. She didn't cry or anything. <laughs> you make me a bacon sandwich. Okay, so we're finally with Daddy. This is our little cabin. It's really hard to see. You know what? I'm actually just gonna do this for you folks in the morning. The important thing is, is that we made it. Daddy was actually there to pick us up. He was in a, <laughs> you never know with him. Uh, he picked us up in the same kind of van that I have at home, a Chrysler Pacifica. So it was very comfortable, very comfortable ride. It's a, it's a good automobile. It's quality, nice reliable quality Van Bergini. Sophia's fast asleep. We made it to our little cottage. We're apparently right on the lake. I can't see. It's dark. But I'll give you all the full tour in the morning. Hey folks. Well, we got a good night's sleep and today is our first day in Portland, Maine. We didn't get a good night's sleep. No, we actually didn't get a good night's sleep. The beds are really small. We have a cute cabin. It's just the, the beds are bad. You know, it's like two twin beds. And that just doesn't work. We're big people. We need more space than that. So we gotta figure something out. But anyway, we made it. We made it through the night. We slept in and all that. And really I meant to uh, give y'all a little tour of our cabin and I forgot to do that before we left, but it's okay. I'll do it when we get back, even though we've totally trashed it already. 
But y'all know how it goes. When you go on vacation and you're renting a, a place, you got a suitcase, you just kind of blah all over the place. So well, that's what we've done. But no judgment. I'll show you the cabin when we get back. So we're staying actually like an hour from Portland. So we are driving in. We're about 10 minutes from this restaurant that we were told by the Airbnb guy. Um, that's a good one, you know, for seafood, lobsters and oysters and all that good stuff, clams. I'm so excited to eat all the seafood and we got me and daddy. Woo! Finally with daddy and then we got baby Sophia sleeping like a baby. So this should be fun. I'm excited to explore Maine. We're going to take y'all with us. Look, that's, that's the ocean. Yeah, part of the ocean. But it just doesn't look oceany. It doesn't look like beach with waves. It looks like a lake. So here's Portland. Okay, y'all, I gotta tell you something real funny. So Corey drove here from uh, Virginia with guys that he works with. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't miss your turn because I'm talking to my camera. Okay, you pay attention to what you're doing. I'll pay attention to what I'm doing. Anyway, so I gotta tell y'all. So he and two other guys that he works with are driving here from their job in Virginia. And Corey's driving, he puts the GPS he put takes the guy's GPS whose truck they're in and types in, you know, the address of where they want to go. Well <laughs> little did Corey know that the guy had his GPS set to avoid toll roads. So they literally drove six hours out of the way. <laughs> More like seven. They like were went all the way to the Canadian border. Like they just went so far all the way. Six or seven hours extra driving time for like a, a what was it already a sixteen hour trip? Well, it's supposed to be thirteen hours. It took us closer to twenty. <laughs> what did we learn? Check learn check your GPS. Check yourself before <laughs> you wreck yourself. That's right. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I am. I think that that is hilarious. <laughs> we, that just is went, awesome. we just went straight north, hit Canada, and turned right. <laughs> <laughs> way out of the way. Oh, what a dinky head. We were so, supposed okay. to go to Boston. We were going to stay a night in Boston. We were driving for like 12 hours through farm country. We're like, it didn't really look like. The, it didn't look like Boston. Right <laughs> Oopsie daisies, right? We took the scenic route. <laughs> the same but group. we did probably save two bucks in tolls. Yeah, yeah, he did. Saved at least two bucks in tolls. Six hours worth. Oh my gosh, we're here. I just saw a cruise ship. This is serious. Is this? This isn't the cobble. This is the wharf, right? Oh, look at these pretty old buildings. Don't run over people. Cool. Look, there's some manians. Tasmanian devils? <laughs> what would you call people from Maine? Mainers. <laughs> just what? You didn't have to think about it or anything. Just automatically. Mainers. Is that really what they're called? I don't know. I've heard that's what someone said. <laughs> Mainers. I can get down with some Maine. I like this. Amigos. Oh, yeah. By the way, happy Cinco de Mayo, folks. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is super cute. I already love it. We made it, baby girl. We made it. Oh my god! I love it. Look at all the boats. I want to live on a boat. Baby, you think we can live on a boat with five kids? <laughs> we need a really, really big boat. But look how pretty it is. Wouldn't it be awesome? May you have fair winds and following seas. I do really want to go to this restaurant. It's like way over there though. We'll make our way. Okay y'all, I just tried to um, get my first lobster open. I've never really done this before. I'm like a crab claw kind of girl. So, Corey apparently is an expert. I just butchered my little, my little claw. So now I'm gonna let Corey teach us how it's done with the other one. Okay, let's see if he can do any better than me. <laughs> All right, baby, show me how it's done. I mean, I got the meat out, don't worry, but show me how it's done. Some of the meat out. I'm gonna get the rest of it. Okay, so you tear it off the body. 
Rip that part off. That's kind of like what you do with the crab. So you tear that, but barely. Oh. Okay, so you tear that thing out. Ooh, squirt it on your face. Well, that's good. That's a big old chunk of meat. It's got the little pointy things on it. That can get this thing's dangerous. Look at that big chunk of meat. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Thanks, baby. So, Corey actually did it way better than I did. Look at that guy. Okay, folks, so the general consensus is that we love Portland, Maine. Don't watch. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> the devil's lettuce. <laughs> you can definitely smell the devil's lettuce all over the place around here. We're real close to Canada. I guess it's wafting in from from the old Canadian border. Waft. Waft in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I love this city. This is so stinking cute. We got a few things, some um, touristy stuff. We each got our Portland shirts and we got a magnet because we collect magnets. Yeah, this has been a great day. And Sophia's been awesome. She's just chilling, riding the wagon. <laughs> I do love this city. This has been so much fun. Yay! Hey y'all, we're back from a fun day. I just wanted to show y'all before it got too dark, I wanted to show you our little cabin. So this is the view from our little living room. There's the couch and of course we wrecked it. Okay, so here's our little living room. There's, there's Daddy, there's Sophia, super cute. And a little fireplace. Okay, and so here's our kitchen. We got a little TV over there. And it's like, cabiny you know it's all wood and we got the loft up there and that's where our beds are there's two beds upstairs there's like these little stairs that go up and there's the bathroom and that's all there is to it five it's just this cute little cabin but this is the this is the best part right here bam right on the lake and then we've got a little place outside to have a little fire pit and we got a grill and all that good stuff. So yeah, we like it. It's perfect. It's just the right size for the three of us. So today was a super fun day in Portland. We're happy to be back at our little cabin. And I think for the next couple days, we're just going to hang out here, chill, be with daddy. So good start to a good trip. <laughs> Drummer Sophie in the house. <laughs> she looks so unimpressed to be a rock star. She's got a great to be a guitarist. Keyboard. How about the violin? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, her little bounty face, she does not like the violin. <laughs> what about a ninja? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ninja kick. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. 